All right, so we're going to start on your edit page. And in edit page, I've already got one set up here. Let me delete it. Uh, wh what we'll do is we're going to select add media. Um, that's up this button. Uh, click it. And then you're going to notice that there's a couple options in add media. One's going to be add media, create gallery, add audio, uh, video, and featured image. Also insert from a URL. We're going to create a gallery. We're going to select our items. And you'll notice that there's like a check over the item and it highlights it with a border. Uh, you can select as many as you want, uh, relatively, and then uh, go over to the alt text. Make sure you have alt text added to all of your photos, um, as well as a title. Uh, you can add a caption here. Uh, otherwise, if you forget, uh, we'll cover that in a moment. Um, you'll notice all four items are selected down here. You can auto unselect them all. So we'll just create it right now. And this takes us to the next page. Uh, in this page, you have the option of removing items, but basically you've created it. You're going to edit it now. We can override the caption, uh, leave it blank. Um, we're going to override this one and we can also add them in there. Um, you can reverse order, um, mix things around. Think of them like cards. Uh, you can also remove them as well by clicking that X. Uh, so we'll remove this just for demo. You can add it back though if you screw up. So we're gonna add it back. It does keep the caption and add to gallery. Okay, so we got our gallery selected. Um, just adds, we're gonna remove this just for demo. Uh, go over and you'll see the link type. We're gonna select none and you can select to the file um, and then think of columns, right? So math time, we're gonna choose three just for demo. Um, and then I'm gonna select, mm, Large. You could also reverse the order. Uh, oh, never mind. I'll do full size. Insert uh, the gallery. So you can get a view on the visual side of things. Um, and then on the text side of things, you're just going to see short code. Um, you can work with it. Otherwise, it's really easy we should, within the visual side. I uh, notice that box that pops up. There's an X to remove it and then uh, edit back there uh, and that'll take you back into the edit screen where you can change things around so we deleted that uh, person and now we're going to switch it to thumbnail so if you remember the images were kind of off uh let's th see three let's just do three co uh two columns that way we could show a different row and add it so quick visual you can see it here uh we'll save the draft and we're going to preview this so it's gonna give us a live view. So you'll notice like, hey, it's two columns and uh, two rows. Um, and edit page, go back, you can re-edit it, right? So maybe we wanna do large, uh, full size, let's see that. Um, and so this is gonna give you a different layout and we'll save it for the draft preview on the live version. Whoa, it's kind of like a weird tessellation or some sort of deal. Let's edit it back. Uh, thumbnails, I think looked a little better. So uh, back here, let's switch them to thumbnail and yeah, update gallery. Uh, so save and preview. All right, that looks good for me. I'm gonna go back to edit page and now's when I would publish. All right, thank you for the tutorial, have a great day.